about this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bell. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hey, girl, hey, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So, you guys, today's video is sponsored by Ali Pearl. Thank you guys so much for collaborating with me. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how I customize, styled, and installed this HD lace wig. As you guys can see, it is a size medium. Hair density was 180 and the length was 24 inches. And I'm just showing you guys everything that they sent in the box. They sent an elastic band, a wig cap, a scarf, a bag girl, um, a hair care card, all of that. So here's the wig straight out of the packaging, body wave texture, as you guys can see. And I just wanted to really get up close and personal and show you guys the knots. I love when I get wigs that have extremely small knots. It just makes everything so much easier. Um, however, I did have to bleach these knots twice and I did have some knots left over, but you guys can see like the lace is pretty much non-existent and that's what we like. Here's the inside of the wig. I wanted to show you guys the construction. I love when companies bring the wefts around on the cap so that if you ever have any wind blowing, you will not have the cap or your wefts exposed. You have two combs on the side, one in the back, as well as some adjustable straps. And this is what the knots look like after I bleached them twice with 40 volume developers. So like I said, they weren't completely gone. You can definitely still see knots, but I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to pluck the hairline. So I'm just gonna get my middle part together with my tweezers. That's just how I like to do it. I don't really like using a comb. Um, to get my part straight i feel like the tweezer gets the job done better and i'm just gonna let you guys watch this i'm gonna be taking my hot comb these are available um, on my website so i'll leave this down below for you guys and i'm just gonna turn this on to 465 that's the temperature that i pretty much like to use all the time and i'm just gonna get all the flyaways laid down so i can start plucking you guys are gonna see me push the hairline back and then I'm going to just start to pluck. So I'm going to let y'all watch this and I'll be back. Okay, so right here, you guys just see me combing back that hairline so I can see if I was pleased with the plucking. And I'm going to move on to doing some baby hairs. So I just like to take a razor comb and I cut them to maybe about an inch, maybe a little bit shorter. Um, if I start to like mold them and they're too long, I'll just go back in and trim them. So you guys know these are my favorite products to do my baby hairs with. And I started off doing like the traditional baby hairs I always do. And I was like, you know what? I haven't shown the straight baby hairs with like the two swoops on the side. So you guys are gonna see me just wipe these off and then I'm gonna cut that middle part a little bit shorter so I can show you guys the straight baby hair look. Let me know what you guys prefer down below. So pretty much I just play around molding the baby hairs with the mousse by itself until I'm pleased. Once I have my rough draft pretty much done, then you guys know I like to mix the Perfection Collection mousse 
with the boho liquid gold to give it an extra hold so this is what you guys see me doing right here if y'all follow me y'all seen me do this plenty of times um so yeah i just mix the two together and it's just gonna give it an extra hold so like y'all can see me right here just placing that mixture onto my baby hairs and i did put some perfection collection mousse on the hairline as well as um like the back part of the closure and on the part so i could put this up under the dryer and i'm gonna let that dry and when i come back it's gonna be time to curl so i did just want to show you guys this is how the texture looks after it's been washed deep conditioned and air dried this is what body wave looks like guys it's not going to be extremely wavy but it is going to have a slight wave to it so jumping into the curling portion i'm using some bio silk i placed it all over the hair and I'm just going to go ahead and section it off and start to curl. And I'm just using, I believe I use my one and one fourth babyless curling iron. So I'm going to speed this portion up because I know just like watching curling is repetitive. So basically you just want to alternate curls for body curls. So if you do your first curl going away from the face, do the one next to it towards the face, so on and so forth. So that's pretty much all I did. And then I did pin curl them. This hair was really, really soft. So I knew it probably wasn't going to hold the curl the best. So to make them last a little bit longer, I did go ahead and pin curl them. And I did spray some Sebastian Shaper Spray on each section. Okay, so now that I'm towards the top, I'm going in with my wax stick. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just applying this to the hairline and on the parting area, as you guys can see. Um, again, just using 465 on my hot comb and I'm gonna press out the hairline and the closure, just laying all those flyaways down. And like I said, you guys can see, it gives it a nice shine without it being greasy. I love it. If you guys do not have these yet, this combo is a must have for your flat wig, sis. So like I said, I'll try to leave these links down below. If not, check the comments. So now I'm going to just throw some layers in. You guys can see this is the closure and then that's the bundles. And it was just like a, a very harsh line of demarcation there. So I just wanted to throw a little bit of layers in there to make it flow. So I'm just taking my razor comb and I didn't do like drastic layers. I just did a few face framing layers in the front so that the curls will really just fall how they need to. So after I do one side, I go to the other side so I can just make sure those front pieces are even and then I can use that as a guide on the other side to make sure that both sides are even. So for the hair that's actually on the closure, you want to make sure you curl all of those back away from your face. You don't want those falling towards the face. They look so much better and just flow better when you curl them backwards. So um, like I said, just pin curling all of them. And as you guys can see, I'm just curling them away from my face. So here's what the wig looks like after I'm done curling everything and hairspraying it. So we're going to jump right into the install. I'm using my Morphe foundation. This was the foundation that I was using for the day. And I'm just applying that with this dense foundation brush on the hairline of my wig cap and then on the middle area so that it will blend in. I'm also going to do this exact same method on the actual lace of the wig. It was really hard for me to try to show you guys that, but... Um, I'm doing the exact same technique like I put it on the exact same way on the lace it's just going to help 
blend that lace into your skin and just make it look like scalp. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the wig onto my head and I'm just gonna adjust it to see where it needs to be. Don't worry about the part. I'm gonna fix the part in a little bit. And you guys bear with me, this install portion was so hard to film because I couldn't see if I was in focus. My big mirror had broken and I was dealing with this small mirror. But um, yeah, I'm just spraying some got to be spray on the lace area, as you guys can see, taking a rat tail comb, pressing that in. And then I'm gonna take my blow dryer and just dry this with some cool air. touching up my baby hairs with a little bit of the perfection collection mousse and after i'm done with this i'm just going to remove all of the clips out of the curls and then i'm going to show you guys what that looks like and we're going to comb them out So here's what the curls look like. They were really pretty, super bouncy and shiny. But like I said, this hair was really, really soft. So you definitely wanna make sure you're using some hairspray if you purchase this wig, just because I don't think they will last that long because my curls even did drop. Um, so I'm combing out to the curls now. You guys can see I am getting a little bit of snagging at the bottom. So yeah, um, I'm just combing out with a wide tooth comb and I'm just seeing if I need to add any more layers or if I need to recurl the front. And don't worry, I know like the closure is sitting up a little bit high right now, but I'm gonna fix that as well as fix the parts. So now I'm just taking some spray. It was dark brown with my rat tail comb. And like I said, you guys, I did not have a big mirror. So this was so hard to show on camera and I kept getting out of frame. But you guys can see I was trying to spray my part straight. If you guys mess this part up, you can just go back in with some foundation or concealer to clean it up. And I'm just adding a little bit more of my wax stick so I can go ahead and hot comb this down so it's not as much volume at the top um because it was giving a little bit too much volume for me so i had to just flatten it down a little bit and then i'm gonna recurl my closure area and that is pretty much the look so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below let me know what other like baby hair techniques or whatever you guys want to see let me know down below thank you again ali pro for partnering with me on this video and i will catch you guys on my next one bye it's time.